What do you see when you hear the term ghosts? Do you see someone hiding under a blanket? Perhaps a shadowy figure lurking in the distance? Or do you see nothing at all? There is a lack of physical evidence to prove that ghosts are real, yet people claim to have had supernatural encounters. But how can we prove something exists if we can't see it? Uh, do I believe in ghosts? Uh, actually, I am a very superstitious person, so yes, I do believe in ghosts. I don't know. I haven't seen one. If people see them, then they're somewhat true, you know? Damn, but not extremely believe. Like, I would say, like, just over the fence believe. I would sort of, like, realistically not, but, like, when it's, like, dark or I'm, like, alone in the house, I kind of feel a little bit eerie. I think supernatural is something people... It's, it's, a, it's a belief. You know, just like God. Like, I'm an atheist, I don't believe in God, but it's because of my opinion. People believe in ghosts because something might have happened, or maybe it's in, like some, you know, they've heard something or, or seen something. I do believe there's an afterlife. I do believe in heaven. Um, and I do believe there is a hell. Third floor of our house, I was just sitting in this room that used to belong to someone, and I could, I swear, I saw a sighting of them. Um, it's sort of like we were at this camping trip, and then apparently they told us that the cabin was like haunted, and like the other families could feel something, but I don't know. That's sort of like a verbatim story thing, so I don't know if it's true or not. There are many people who think ghosts are real, and many people who don't. To find out more about these believers in ghosts, we spoke with someone who has strong opinions and past experiences with the paranormal. One, I was about four at my great aunt's house and I looked up and there was a lady in the doorway all dressed in black with a wrinkled face. And when she saw me looking at her, she walked off and I could hear the rustle of her dress. And then my great aunt came in and said, are you okay? And I presumed she saw her. And I said, oh, have we got visitors? And she said, no. So I explained what I'd seen. And she said, oh, that was Uncle Bill's mum, her husband. And then when my dad came to pick me up, I said, oh, Uncle Bill's mum came to visit. And he said, oh, but she was dead before you were born. But my aunt had shown me a photo and it was the same lady I'd seen in the doorway. Perhaps I'm one of these people. I know when things are going to happen, sometimes. I can predict stuff. Like the day my father died, I knew he was going to die and I kept saying to my friend, that my mother's going to ring because my father's going to die and then a few hours later my mother did ring to say my father had died. Mm. So I don't know. Paranormal investigators could prove or further explain these experiences, but who even are these ghost hunters? G Ghostbusters with like the vacuums on their back. <laughs> Damn, these guys they walk in with like Piss control uniforms and big vacuums. I guess what you see in those Ghostbusters movies and everything, like, you know, they've got those kind of guns, like, you know, those specific guns, like, you know, lasers and everything that can only catch those ghosts and everything, like, not normal kind of stuff, yeah. Uh, they're trying to figure out what's, um, what people don't know and so that they can say if it's true or not. This normal person, but a bunch of gear with them. Like those, like those speakers that like convert like radiation sounds into like words, and like maybe cameras, some night goggles. This it's a normal person, but it's a lot of equipment. There is so much confusion about what a paranormal investigator does. We sat down with three ghost hunters from haunted Auckland to find out more about what they do. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to uh, look into the the mysterious world out there and uh, set out to go and find some answers for myself. A lot of people assume that anybody that researches ghosts has to be psychic or a, or a medium. Um, none of us are mediums or psychics. I would like to consider myself as an investigator, someone who um, goes into the field and uh, with the rest of the team collects uh, data and, and recordings and then we go back home and review hours after hours of, of recordings of audio and video. I don't know paranormal skeptics so I, I don't necessarily believe that ghosts are a, a thing that exists in this world. The paranormal is a reaction the human mind has to certain conditions and certain stimulus so if you believe that a location is haunted then potentially you will experience paranormal activity there. A lot of people also think that 
we can talk directly to ghosts, that we have regular communication with them, and that's just not true, we don't. Usually what we would use is something that collects data, something like a video camera or an audio recorder. Um, if, we, if we base, say for example, if a ghost can move something or, or can make a noise or can change temperature, we like to believe that maybe it's made up of some sort of energy. So usually devices that might um, detect energy, say for example EMF meters that detect electromagnetic fields, um, or uh, digital thermometers that detect change in temperature, or data loggers even. At this stage there aren't any gadgets out there or equipment that can actually detect or communicate with ghosts. Um, what we're stuck with at the moment are a lot of theories. There are certain influences that we know interact with the human body, so exposure to high electromagnetic fields and exposure to low frequency sound can cause people to feel uncomfortable and feel like they're being watched. Ghosts are largely something we generate inside ourselves, inside our minds. It's our way that, our, as, a, as a human, how we perceive the environment. It's not to say that there aren't ghosts, it's just to say I, I don't agree that the ghosts are necessarily something that is not part of us. We're actually planning on interviewing some ghost hunters. Do you have any questions for them? Yeah, ask them if they've ever seen a ghost. Well, nothing has convinced me yet that what I've experienced is in fact a ghost. Um, I mean, we've had things move, we've had torches thrown downstairs, we've seen shadows, we've heard footsteps or what could be footsteps, we've had what appear to be interactions, um, not direct communication but kind of interactions using our gadgets and things but we're still unsure, we're still at that stage where things have happened but we're unsure of what it was that happened and why they happened. No and I don't, I honestly don't think that we will in our lifetime. Um, we collect data that's very interesting and we don't know what it is and we can't explain it but there's really no way of proving for sure that it is a ghost. When even the investigators themselves question their own experiences and theories, it opens up their work to criticisms. Um, it can be abused in many ways for money making. They're not worthy. There's ghosts out there but they don't appear. If you want them to appear, they just appear. We hear that all the time. We hear that all the time. And it usually comes from people that have never done this, that have never actually got off their couch or stepped away from their computer to go out and spend time in a haunted location or an allegedly haunted, haunted location. I think it's become very popular to, to think that, that ghost hunting, you know, we're going into something that might be evil or malevolent. Um, and it's not the case, necessarily. It's usually, um, especially with private homes, it's someone that might have lived there at, at one stage. Um, I know it's popular in TV shows to, to say that it's demons or something like that, but we've never come across anything like that at all. I have moments of, of scepticism, um, but then things happen that I can't explain and that kind of fuels uh, my desire and, and obsession of it. Anything that does happen um, is a privilege, I feel, and it's, um, it's always quite exciting when something does happen. The role of a paranormal researcher is to try and document the experiences that people are having as they're having them so that we can prove it independent of the person having the experience. I think it's good to have a critical mind about it. I think a lot of people take it uh, too far into the fantasy world and uh, their belief is very blind. They don't sort of actually look into the answers, they just accept. Um, I would like to see a lot more people questioning things that happen. Um, don't just blindly believing but questioning what's happening around them. I would like to see people thinking more and um, they've got to search and they've got to ask questions. They've got to be open-minded but still be a little bit fixed in their thinking as well. Just believe. It's, it's something that, um, that is truly out there I believe. What's the worst thing that's happened? This. <laughs> <laughs>